today we will discuss about the two problems and in the the first problem you will be given equation of three lines and condition is the three lines are concurrent concurrent means they must pass through a common point or the they have common intersection point okay like this one and you will be given three uh, line equation any one of the line equation in which either coefficient of x or y you have to determine okay in the first case you can the equation and uh, one and two these are two equation and two unknown are x y are unknown so you can get x y value from that from the two equation and what will be the x y value that coordinate is the common point for the two lines one and two and also for three and put that x y value in in equation 3 you will get k value okay clear in the second type of question you will be given a straight line equation okay remember when <coughs> the straight line straight line equation in x plus by form and c value will not be given that means this straight line must pass through the origin okay of x y coordinate okay then from uh, <coughs> you have to determine the distance from the line from the line to a certain point and along that point one straight line uh, is passing and making an angle some angle with positive x axis okay find the distance of line 2x minus y from the point 3 1 measured along the line making an angle 3 pi by 4 with positive x axis okay so you have to determine the mn mn distance okay so uh, suppose where in which uh, m let m coordinate of m where the point of intersection is x y okay and we know that tangent of that angle making angle with the positive x axis of line 2 that is 3 pi by 4 tangent will be uh, 10 3 pi by 4 equal to slope of that line equal to and we get the two coordinates point okay x y and 3 1 from that we, we can get one equation okay let me do equation 2 and we have another equation this uh, line 1 equation that is 2x minus y equal to 0 not 2 equation 2 unknown are given x and y we can determine the x y value values okay now after getting the x y value we can put the distance formula x y value we get and 3 1 value we get we know so distance formula will put and we will get the distance of m and n 